And now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. Boston based Moderna Therapeutics announced the successful completion of phase one of tests for a coronavirus vaccine. CBS 4 Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. A government run test of a Moderna Therapeutics vaccine candidate showed all eight recipients developed antibodies for COVID-19. Those same antibodies that those people had developed actually could neutralize the virus and prevent its ability to infect human cells. Moderna will soon begin phase two trials with the goal of having a viable vaccine by the end of the year. There are circumstances where the vaccine could be deployed to high risk populations earlier under something called an emergency use authorization. The government has launched Operation Warp Speed, which will begin manufacturing several different vaccines before the trials are completed. We have hundreds of millions of people, so 300 million is the goal and by January that we would set, whether by one or multiple vaccine candidates. President Trump is speaking with restaurant executives and the nation's governors this afternoon as he pushes to reopen the country. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell told 60 Minutes that the country will not fully reopen until there is a vaccine. We can't fully recover, though, until people feel confident that they're safe. The Fed chief also said Congress needs to inject more money into the economy. But the White House is taking a wait and see approach before supporting another massive relief package. If the economy uh, continues the momentum that we're beginning to see over the last couple of weeks of data, then I think that one might conclude that the stimulus that we've already passed is enough. The House passed a $3 trillion spending bill Friday evening, but Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has declared it dead on arrival in the Senate. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Senator McConnell says he too will wait to see how previous spending bills impact the economy before moving forward.